Tell us about what we're seeing here. What am I looking at? Uh, 1929 Ford Model A pickup. Okay. Uh, 427 dark block, small block Chevy. Right. Twin turbo, Borg Warner, 366 servos. Uh, T56, six speed transmission. Right. And you, said, Ford. you said T56? Yes. So you shift this thing? Yes. yes six wow. Feet. Awesome. It's got an overdrive so you can drive on the highway. Right. You know, everybody said put a power glide and be faster, but I, I want to get in the highway. And right, right, right. It, it, I, I like shift. You know, gotcha. Even though it looks, it's slower. So. That makes it sound even more like a blast. Yeah. <laughs> um, how did you How did you get it? Was it, you know? I bought the truck like this. Um, I, was at, right. I was at a race in Georgia a couple right years ago, and the guy putting on the race had the Look truck out. there. So right. I bought the truck with the stock 350 in it, right. and it slowly started turning, you know. Right, right. Evolving into what it is. And it's still evolving, but. Was it like a dra drag setup when you got no. it at all? Or? It had no. white wall tires. Uh, right. uh, you know the hood on it. No, nothing drag. You know, right. just a stock motor, stock transmission, and any yes, uh, any unique challenges with this thing? Uh, I mean, you got to build everything for it. Nobody makes it right. anymore. You know, absolutely hey, no can, aftermarket. I yeah, got you. The size and space. Yeah, it's real right. tight. <laughs> how how tall are you squeezed in there like that? Uh, I'm five eleven. Five eleven. I got yeah. you. Wow, a guy like me, I don't think I would make it. <laughs> yeah, my buddy was like six with the, the dash was in. I just took it out, doing some wiring. His right. knees would hit the dash. Right, right. Yeah. What's the the fastest it's been? 1057, 130. Awesome. Is it, up. Is, it, is it like crazy to drive or like being out there like that or? No, it's pretty straight with the drag rail. You know, with street tires, it's being real violent. It gets super sideways. With the drag rail, it just goes on the track. Right, absolutely. It, I gotta have somebody tune it better. It's got some issues. It's not, you know, I got gotcha. you. I know the intercooler is too small. And it's, They're gonna you know, check you in and it, see. Work in progress. Yeah. Right the Do you have any idea what kind of power it makes? No, nah, everybody asks. By the mile an hour, it's, it's only making probably 600 and some horsepower, which is, you know, like I said, it's something goofy about it. I just can't figure out right. why it's not making what it should, you know. I got gotcha. you. And uh, I want to get rid of this, uh, this uh, fuel injection and put like a Holly or fuel tech. So I'm just waiting to do that. And have okay. to tune it and put the dyno. You have like a number goal for it, or just wherever that wherever the setup takes you, or yeah, you know how it is. I always goes faster. I want to go to you know, nine, so it'll be a nine second street car. Right, right, right. I want to go eight. So. Yep. Absolutely. And then uh, tumble out of control, right? Yeah. Um, uh, I don't want to make it. I did that with bikes over the years. I raced bikes for like 20 years, and right. my, my mountain bike finally goes low sevens, right, right. 203. But you know, it's not fun anymore because it's too much work. And I don't want to make this that way. I got you. Where I can't drive it, and it can't. You know, it's constantly working on it. Yeah, there's a there's a tipping point, right? But, um, anything that somebody wouldn't know by looking at it, like uh, maybe a story behind it, something that's particularly. You know, we all have that story of the one bolt that took all day, or something caught on fire, or something weird happened, like funny stories. Nothing really. No. Broke the rear end three times so far. Right? So it gets, it gets traction then, huh? Yeah, definitely. No issues with the, the light back rear end? It looks pretty good for you? Yeah, it's a 9-inch forward. I broke an axle, then I ripped the four link right out of the frame, Right. and then we beefed that up, and then I broke the center section, so now it's a straight center section, so that's taken care of, you know? Right. Awesome, man. I just put a two-step on it today, but it's not a button up here, so we'll see how that works. Right. Instead of a clutch button, I gotta let off the same time as my clutch, so. Right. Definitely uh, yeah. a sequence, right? Yeah. Cool, man. Well, best of luck out there. See if I make a clean band stuff. Last but not least, what's your name? Where are you from? John Bolt. Uh, Tarpon, Florida. Okay. Awesome, man. Do you want to like, plug or anything like that? I usually like to give people the chance if they you know, have somebody on board. Blue Zoo Fall, they built the chassis. Okay. Yeah. Cool. My neighbor. Sure, sweet and to the point. Oh, yeah. <laughs>